up everyone my name is Dora welcome to my channel today I'm gonna show you how to make shaving butter so you can say bye bye to razor burn this is a super light and fluffy butter that's used to shave you can also make whipped soap or body scrub with this recipe It's a wonderful shaving cream. It's very light and airy, and it aids in a close shave. It leaves skin silky smooth and soft. You'll need butter. Use any butter that you want. I tried several, like nine of them, and they all whipped up the same. And I also highly recommend adding an expeller pressed coconut oil. This allows the butter to whip up light and fluffy. And you'll need a liquid. The liquid allows the butter to be whipped up airy. Depending on the feel that you want, add either a carrier oil, a non-greasy emollient, or a surfactant like body wash. If you're interested in this project, please read the description. You'll find information, helpful tips, and a common issues section. I used kokum and shea butter. Melt the butter, then add coconut oil. The butter will melt the oil. Just stir it to dissolve it. Then use a stick blender to mix everything. Freeze the butter, then allow it to become room temperature. Even though the butter is room temperature, it's still solid and quite hard. Mix the butter and break up chunks. Now blend the butter once more and get it as smooth as possible. This ensures that it won't have small chunks once it's whipped. When I was experimenting, the whipped butter always had small chunks no matter how much I mixed it before freezing. At this point, due to the friction of the blender, the butter will be somewhat melted. Chill it in the fridge for about 30 minutes to stiffen it back up. Add a bit of fragrance if you'd like. Add just a little bit of liquid at a time, whipping after each addition until it's the perfect consistency. I can't tell you how much to add as this depends on many factors, such as which butter you use, how much coconut oil you add, etc. The butter isn't whipping up like it should because I didn't allow it to cool and stiffen back up after I blended it, so I'll do that now. Now, as you can see, it's whipping up beautifully. The butter should whip up to be light, fluffy, and have very stiff peaks. To get those beautiful frills that you've seen, you'll need to use Russian piping tips. Specifically the ball nozzles. Which look like this. Each ball nozzle creates a different pattern or size of frills. Quick tip, to get frills that go back and forth and fan out and not just straight up and down, keep the tip in the same position and turn it back and forth in small half turns.
Aren't these frills gorgeous? Just know that this type of nozzle leaves a perfect hole in the center, which I really don't mind because the frills are so beautiful. I used these containers, which will be linked in the description. Slowly pipe the butter so the frills grow and fluff out. As the space is filled, slowly move the tip up and keep piping. Don't forget to do the small turns with the tip. I learned too late and was not about to redo all of these. And here's what not to do. Keep the tip in the same position. Don't move the whole tip in circles. This pushes and smushes previously piped frills. Don't push down when you're piping. This flattens the frills. Don't rub the tip against the frills. This ruins them. And don't pipe hard and fast. This creates flat and skinny frills that don't fill the area and fan out. Plus, the hole will be bigger and more defined. To use the shaving butter, rub it on your skin and then shave as you normally would. I actually don't use anything when I shave, so this was really nice. The razor glides on your skin. It gives a close shave and you're left with soft, silky smooth skin. There's no way that you could get razor burn when you're using this. I feel like it's absolutely impossible to do. I used body wash base instead of carrier oil oil because I don't like my skin greasy and I thought it would increase suds and lather. I don't think it did that, but either way, I really enjoyed it and I definitely plan on using it from now on.